My name is Tani West. I was born five years old and I live in Burma. The Burmese soldier did not give our Korean people the chance to go outside. But even more than that, we did not have enough food, so we ate our stove full like rice, fish paste, and vegetables. And that time, our family had only one car, but the Burmese soldier did not let us go out and give our animal food to eat. Finally, my mom decided to reach her life and go out and he took me with her to fill her little car some grass because it's near food to eat. Sadly, the soldier saw my ma met and this war asked my ma, where is your village chief? But my ma did not understand that because this problem is instead of crap. I thought they will kill my ma because she did not speak Burmese. Ma at home near to us heard me cry there. She came to our house and he saw that the soldiers were all around me and my ma. They saw my aunt and asked her a question. Then my ma saw they were distracted and ran away and was free for being killed by the Burmese soldier has. Even after that, my car did not survive. My dad was very afraid and he did not want to live in Burma anymore. So in 2006, we moved to refugee in Thailand. When we live in the refugee camp, we got free rice and other food too, but we did not have enough money to buy what we wanted. My parents worked every day to professionally support our family. My father always had to snake out and climb over the mortars that surrounded our caves in order to find the leaf jars with local town people even though it was illegal. The payment was not good but my father is a persistent hard worker. On the other hand, my mom always stay home and we will create traditional customers or clothes and make a little money by weaving. We had different experience but we we'll stay alive and we have to give thanks to the law. And then time the American government had offered its doors for those who live in refugee camp to immigrate to America. In 2012, we applied for the reset mats in the U.S. and we were accepted. When our family arrived in Minnesota on September 29, 2013, our family did not know anybody. We stayed in the house and cried every day. And last night that I had been in Minnesota for almost a year and a half. I know more correct people and I did not feel like crazy anymore. I'm glad that I'm immigrated to America. I had opportunities to learn a land and I had a great school. I am very grateful that my family gets to live happy in this country. I have to believe that everything will go well while we are alive.